Cristiano Ronaldo is undeniably one of football's greatest. And unsurprisingly, he also happens to be one of, if not the most, the most popular. Up steps Ronaldo and scores with tremendous power. Ever since Ferguson brought him to Old Trafford, Ronaldo and his family have been on full display for all the world to see. But still, could there be bits of his life that haven't spilled to the public? Bits of his life that you don't know? Well, that's what we are about to find out. Number 1. He narrowly escaped abortion Everyone knows that Cristiano was born very poor. His mother, Maria Dolores dos Santos, was a cook, and his father, Jose Diniz Aviero, was a gardener and a part-time kitman. You also probably know that his father was a stunch alcoholic, a toxic trait that would eventually take his life. However, what you might not know is that the alcoholism and poverty was so unbearable for Ronaldo's mother, Maria, that by the time she was pregnant with him, she had made her mind up to terminate the pregnancy, especially because she already had three children at the time. The only reason why she didn't go through it was because the doctor refused to operate. And as crazy as it sounds, if the doctor had said yes, we would be living in a world without CR7. Number 2. Cristiano's most expensive item is… After having nearly lost his chance to be born, you could say Ronaldo hadn't done too badly with his life. He has indulged himself in all of life's luxuries, and he never fails to flaunt some of them on his social media platforms. Ronaldo's houses are some of his biggest assets. He has purchased dozens of million-dollar mansions in different locations, including Portugal, Italy, and Spain. Aside his expensive mansions, Ronaldo is also a watch fanatic. He has owned or at least worn at least 13 six-figure watches, and the most expensive one is the Frank Muller Invisible Baguette Diamonds Imperial Tourbillon. This unbelievable timepiece is set with 424 baguette diamonds and rubies and costs a staggering $2 million. On the automobile end, Ronaldo has a lavish taste. His phenomenal car collection costs a little over $25 million. Number 3. One of his girlfriends hated him passionately. There is no one that knows you best than your partner. And in the case of Cristiano, he had quite a couple. His first notable girlfriend as a professional player was Jordana Jardel, the sister of his teammate at Sporting, Mario Jardel. However, their relationship didn't last up to a year. From 2005 to 2006, the Portuguese star dated Portuguese model Marche Romero before they broke up. And in 2007, English influencer Gemma Atkinson was the striker's beau, but also only for a brief while. However, in that same year, the footballer would date Nereida Gallardo. And she was the one who would tell the world that while she agreed Cristiano was a great footballer, he was also an egotistical dumb guy with no brains. Kinda hard to believe, but we're not in the position to argue. Number 4. Ronaldo met the love of his life in a Gucci store In 2010, it seemed like Ronaldo had found his forever in the Russian supermodel Arena Shake. But five years down the line, it all came crashing down. And as Arena moved on to the Hollywood superstar Bradley Cooper, Ronaldo would find his lover in a Gucci store. That last statement sounds like a bar from a Kanye West song. While they haven't married, both Georgina and Ronaldo have been going strong ever since the pair met in 2016. The couple also have three children together. Today, Georgina is a model, dancer, and a legitimate social media influencer with around 39 million followers on her IG. Since they became a pair, Georgina has not slowed down on her support for the Portuguese star. She regularly attends his matches and also accompanies him to all his award ceremonies.
Number 5. How many kids does Ronaldo have? Just a few months ago, Ronaldo revealed to the world that one of his baby twins had died after Georgina gave birth. However, the couple tried their best to contain their grief and they named the surviving twin Bella. The birth of Bella means that Ronaldo has five children, with three of the children born to two surrogate mothers. His other four children are Cristiano Jr., Eva, Matteo, and Elena. Cristiano Jr. is obviously the most popular one amongst them. Following in his father's footsteps, the youngster is already playing football at youth level and already looks like he might be the one to step into his father's massive shoes. The Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. Vai receber os aplausos e o pai fica por ali. Number 6 his first son and an undying rumor. If you were not aware, Georgina is not the mother of Cristiano's first son. Cristiano Jr. is the son of a mystery woman, according to Ronaldo himself, agreed to let him raise the child with the help of his mother. It's fishy because no journalist has been able to uncover the mystery woman's identity. And there are other rumors that claim his son was born by IVF with a surrogate mother. Number 7. Story behind his number 7 jersey. The number 7 jersey is one and the same with Cristiano Ronaldo. It has become Ronaldo's soulmate and is at the center of the striker's CR7 alter egos. But how did he become so attached to this shirt number? Well, the answer can be found in 2003, when the young striker first arrived at the Old Trafford Stadium. He requested for his then-favorite choice of number 28. However, Sir Alex Ferguson talked him out of it and instead got him to wear the number 7 jersey that had also been worn by club legends such as David Beckham and Eric Cantona. Accepting Ferguson's advice has got to be near the top of his many great career choices. Number 8. Mother of all scandals Despite the superstar having one of the strongest fan bases, there have been several occasions where a woman would drag the football star to court over assault cases. Yes, the Portuguese international has had his fair share of scandals over the years, the most popular one being the case of a 34-year-old teacher named Catherine Mayorga, who told a German news outlet that the former Real Madrid Juventus star forced her to sleep sleep with him at a Las Vegas hotel in 2009. The case dragged on in the court for a long while and caused football fans a prolonged dose of anxiety. However, it was ultimately dismissed by a U.S. judge. Aside from scandals, Ronaldo has also found himself on the government's chopping block over issues relating to tax evasion. But like all the cases before, the Portuguese star managed to find a way around Around it. Number 9. Cristiano is not your regular billionaire businessman. The fact isn't too surprising if you're familiar with the world of football. However, it doesn't make it any less impressive, especially because a lot of his wealth exists outside of the game. Some of his surprising, profitable businesses include a collection of hotel chains, the Pestana CR7, a hair transplant business, and a Madrid-based gym, CR7 Fitness. Ronaldo also owns a jeans company, CR7 Denim, and a joint venture with Denali Performance Apparel towards make CR7 blankets. He also owns a private jet rental business, and he pockets over 3,000 euros per hour for anyone who cares enough to patronize him. Ronaldo is an impressive businessman and has definitely leveraged his brand down to the details. Number 10. Death tried him twice. If there was a higher power that was bent on a world without Ronaldo, they were working full time. Because after narrowly avoiding abortion, the future five-time Ballon d'Or winner faced a serious health challenge when he was just 15. It was so serious that it would have either placed him in very early retirement or taken his life altogether. 
The condition was tachycardia, and it happens when an individual's heart rate is too fast. However, Ronaldo was once again saved by doctors who chose to operate this time and successfully performed a life-saving surgery. And in true CR7 nature, Ronaldo would return to training with his mates a few days after the surgery. Well, that's all we have for you today. But if there is any obscure CR7 fact that you think we missed, let us know down in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.